In this video, we're going to attempt to solve equations such as 2x cubed minus 14x squared plus 24x equals 0 for x. In the past, we have seen the strategy that if we have a product that equals 0, the zero product rule says one of those factors must equal 0. This means to set up the problem, we must first equal 0, then the equation must be factored. This equation here already equals 0, but we do need to factor it. When factoring, we must never forget that the first step of factoring is to check for a greatest common factor. This problem does, in fact, have a GCF of 2x. Factoring out the 2x leaves us with x squared minus 7x plus 12, and the equation still equals 0. Now we can look at factoring what's left inside the parentheses. Because there's three terms, we'll use the AC method and multiply to 12 and add to negative 7. It doesn't take long to find 4 and 3 work if they're both negative. Also, because there's a 1 in front of the x squared, and only because there's a 1 in front of x squared, we're allowed to use this nice shortcut to jump right to the factors of x minus 4 times x minus 3 using those numbers we just found. Our expression is now factored and equal to 0. If this is the case, then we can set each factor equal to 0. This includes the GCF of 2x equals 0, the x minus 4 equals 0, and the x minus 3 equals 0. Each of these is a one-step equation. We can solve the first by dividing by 2, x equals 0, the second by adding 4 to get x equals 4, and the third by adding 3, and we found our solution for x of 3. This problem has three solutions that make the equation true, 0, 4, and 3. Let's try one more example with a GCF, just to make sure we've got this process down. 6x squared plus 21x minus 27 equals 0. It already equals 0, so all we have to do is factor. When factoring, we always start with the GCF. In this case, the GCF is 3, leaving us 2x squared plus 7x minus 9 equals 0. We can now factor using the AC method, multiplying to negative 18 and adding to 7, which we see works with 9 and negative 2. Because we have something in front of x squared, we have to split the middle term into 9x and negative 2x. The rest of the problem is still the same, 3 times 2x squared plus 9x minus 2x minus 9 equals 0. Factoring by grouping, we'll keep the 3 outside of everything and it still equals 0. And on the left side, we can pull out an x, leaving behind 2x plus 9, and on the right side, a negative 1, leaving behind 2x plus 9, being careful of signs. And the 2x plus 9 matches, so we have 3 times 2x plus 9 times the x minus 1 equals 0, and now it's completely factored. Because it's completely factored, we set each factor equal to 0, including the GCF. 3 equals 0, 2x plus 9 equals 0, and x minus 1 equals 0. However, the GCF equation isn't really useful to us because 3 doesn't equal 0 and there's no variables there, so that's not going to help us. We can solve the other equations, though, by subtracting 9, 2x equals negative 9, dividing by 2 to get x equals negative 9 halves for our first solution, and adding 1 to get x equals 1 for our second solution. When solving by factoring, be sure not to forget about the greatest common factor.